Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload videos to your YouTube channel. So the first thing you need to do is create a Google account if you don't already have one. With a Google account, you can access Gmail, which is the email account, YouTube and other Google services with a single username and password. So go to Google and type in create Google account if you don't already have one and then click on the create Google account here and then fill out all the details and once you've done that you'll have access to Gmail, you'll have access to YouTube, Google Drive, all the different services that Google will provide. Once you've done that you can go to YouTube and you can click on the sign in button here. I'm going to sign into my account. And once I've signed in, I can click on this upload button here. And I'm going to upload the video tutorial that I've done. And I'm going to set it to private for now. And I'll explain why. So I'll set it to private because as this video is being uploaded, I want to make some edits to the video before it gets published. I want to do some things to YouTube and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do now. So let's just get rid of this and tidy up this title. So this will be the title of the video, how to post YouTube videos on your Twitter business profile. And we need to write a little description in here. And I normally say, this is a free video tutorial. And I'll say in this video, I will show you how to post YouTube videos on your Twitter business profile. And after that, I normally write a little description saying for more video tutorials, visit dcpweb.co.uk slash blog where I post them on my blog, or you can go straight to my YouTube channel. And in here there's tags. So these tags help people find what your what your video is about. So in here I'm going to say uh, you can write a few, you can write more than that but here's a few examples of what I might put in as tags so people can help help people find this particular tutorial. I'm going to go over to advanced settings and while I'm doing this this video is still uploading you can see and in location I always set it to London that's where I'm located. You can set the location if it's a if it's real video footage then you may set it to a different location where you was taking that video but these are video tutorials I'm uploading. The category I set it to education because it's a video tutorial. I always leave it a standard YouTube license and I allow commenting and I allow people to uh, rate the video if they like it or don't like it. And I also set the record date to today. And I allow people to embed the video and notify my subscribers when I've upload, uploaded this video. There's no age restriction, it's not 3D, and there's no paid content in here either. So after it's finished uploading, it's going to go through processing. So it's just processing the video to make it compatible with YouTube. And I can click this done button now. And this was quite a short video, it was only two or three minutes long. So if your video is quite long, it may take longer to upload. And once that's finished uploading or processing, we could say, we'll move on to the next step and I'll show you what I do next. So this will take a few seconds to finish. Okay, so the video is finished processing. I'm gonna click on video manager here. We can close that other window. 
And here you can see all the videos that I've uploaded to YouTube. And I'm going to click on the edit button here. So YouTube will show me some thumbnails once it's finished processing. It should show some example thumbnails that I can select or I can create a custom thumbnail. If you want to create a custom thumbnail, it needs to be 1280 by 720. And normally you would upload a JPEG or a PNG file. It could be two megabytes in file size. But in here, I need to add it to a playlist. So I'm going to click playlist and here's all the different playlists I created. This one is about um, uploading videos, uploading YouTube videos to your Twitter business profile. So really, this is a this is more of a Twitter tutorial than a YouTube tutorial. Kind kind of a bit of both. So I'm going to create a new playlist. I'm going to write. Twitter video tutorials. I'm going to set it to public so anyone can see this playlist. I'm going to click create. And when I click create as default, it's going to tick it off as a Twitter video tutorial. So all these videos that I make in the future for Twitter, I'll put them all into this particular playlist. And I think I'll just leave it like that for now. I'm going to click save changes. And then I'm going to go to end screen and annotations. I'm just going to pause the video. The video pauses automatically. And I'm going to quick click on um, use template here. And YouTube's going to give me all these different options to use different templates. And the one that I've set my videos up for is uh, let's have a look at examples this one here so I'm going to click on this example and say select and on my YouTube uh, videos I normally leave 20 seconds at the end um, for these options to appear and just stay still for about 20 seconds so let's just um, scrub through the video And about at this position, I want these options to show. So I'm going to drag this one to around here. I'll drag this one slightly after and this one to about here. So if I click the play button now, it's muted at the moment. So we move, move this back to around here. It's going to play the video. It's going to fade out. And it's going to show my subscription here. It's going to show two different videos that they can select and watch next. So let's pause this. We need to double click on this video here and select another video from our playlist. And normally I'll select something quite recent that I've done. And in this example, I'm going to select two uh, Facebook tutorials. So I'll select this one here and I'll click on double click on uh, this video. Let's just go back. This video here, I'll double click. And I'll select the other one. So now at the end of my video, it will fade out into this very last slide. And you can see I designed this slide so that I can fit this content underneath. The YouTube viewer can either subscribe by clicking on this one here and they'll subscribe, or they can click on this video, or they can click on this video, or they can go and watch something else. So I can click the save button. And the last thing I do is go back to info and settings. And you can see the different thumbnails that YouTube generated and I can click one of these thumbnails or I can upload a custom one as well. I'm just going to stick with this thumbnail here. Um, in fact, we'll use this one here. We'll click save. And if you've got enough subscribers and if you've got enough traffic and viewers hitting your YouTube channel, you can click on monetize and you can put some adverts there and you'll get paid a small, small amount of money for every time someone watches your video. It's just small money, but everything helps. So I'll click save. And then I'm gonna go back to basic info and I'm gonna set it to public and I'm gonna publish it. So I can go back to my video manager now. And the last thing I really do is go back to the video manager. And just make sure that it's set to public here. And 
we can go to my dashboard go to my channel and we can see the new video being displayed here it's the latest video we can click on it we just make sure it all plays correctly you see the intro how to post YouTube videos on your Twitter business profile that will play and then Hi, welcome. normally I just check the videos playing okay well. and we'll see the last slide and then we'll see the subscription here and then the two videos that they can select and I normally leave a little bit of space at the end of the video so people get enough time to select those options okay so that's how I upload my videos to YouTube I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.